Well, it's another beautiful day here at the farm, and we are off to another mystery, another journey. And what we're going to be doing today is we are building ourselves a feeding trough for our chickens. And today, I have Lee here with me, and Lee is with the Woofer Organization. And she's here working with the farm probably a month. Who knows, she might be here in six months if we treat her well enough. Or she might cruise, who knows. <laughs> right, Lee? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens. And we are headed to the so barn and we'll see you over there. How are you? This is one of our residents, Sandhill Cranes. He ha hangs out here and he cleans up the cow poo and helps us maintain our property. But he has a wife. Okay, so then we're off and off to the races, as I say. Let me hold this down tight for you. Thanks. Because you're going to get, and we're starting to screw this whole thing together now. Yes, we are. Perfect. Now this drill, I don't particularly like to use. My, my uh, impact drills have died. Aww. So I have to get a new one. But it does a trick. Beautiful. Okay, let's go you just get this side done. Smooth. Alright. Alright, make sure she's nice and square. Looks like it, yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Okay. One more. All right. Now what I want to show you here, and this is just a little tip, a uh, tip on, on these screws. This is what I find myself. See the way we countersunk that? Yeah. Sometimes that's okay. The problem with the countersinking I have found over time mm -hmm. is if we have to take this apart, which we probably won't have to because it's a chip a chicken trough. We're never going to take this thing apart. We'll go in the fire pails, right. the fire bin. But anyway, <laughs> if that gets buried, you can't find it. Yeah, that's true. So you just bring it like that's perfect. And then you end up trying to find it, you strip it. And then you strip exactly. Okay, okay off you go. Alright. Next. Next. Okay, we're sweet down here. See, when you have two people doing a project, you don't necessarily need to clamp it too much. Mm -hmm. Because a second person like me just becomes a clamp. Do the middle. Beautiful thing. Indeed. Now I only use these screws. These are probably the most expensive screws you can buy. Expensive ones. Yeah, but the reason I decided to go with the expensive ones yeah. is simply because they don't, they don't rust them. too quickly. They're easy to extract when you need them to. Mm. And uh, they don't strip. Mm. See, if you have a Phillips or if you have a square head, they have a tendency to strip. That's my experience. Okay. Now, I didn't do this, right? So this girl here, she wants to make sure this thing doesn't come apart. We got one, two, three, five freaking screws down there. Holy tamale. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this will never come apart. Okay, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> but I have to say, I built I've built two of these already. This is the third one. But I hate to admit it, Lee, but I think this is the nicest one of them all. Oh sweet. Nice. Oh, okay. Moving right along, we've got the uh, sides up, the ends up. Now we're putting in the uprights to hold the actual handle. 
And there we go. There's your clamp. Do not. You trust me? Uh. It might be too long. Screw my finger. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Oh yeah. Let's make sure. I guess our. I guess our get our square. We want to make sure we're. Oh yeah. Straight. According to the square, that's not straight. That's straight. Okay, and she goes. Okay. Oops. Okay. Now, it's a beautiful thing. Now let's get the handle. <laughs> hmm. I did 41. You did 41. And it was 40 and 1 eighth. But remember, space. what's the difference? See, folks, this is what happens sometimes. We were just talking right around, measure twice, cut once. And we did measure twice, and we only cut once. But what we didn't factor was this. We didn't factor Mark making the decision to put these in the outside, mm. and you measure them in the inside. So what we'll do is we will put this like this, and then we'll just rip it down here. Okay. And then we go over into the table saw. Okay. I can take that out real quick. There'd be power. Got power there. Oh, remember the thing. I got it. I got it. Way, just as a little FYI, you may be wondering why is this black? The reason why this is black, and you may have seen some of my other videos, we don't use pressure treated lumber here at the farm at all. So what we do is we burn all the wood. You can see here, I haven't burned that part obviously. Um, that brings out the sap, it hardens it, and it seals it. That will never rot. Of course if I had that done, it definitely would never rot. But just to let you know. Okay. Okay, and that's your drill. Get your pre preset your screws. Now on these screws, remember I was talking about earlier on, let's not get them too deep. In this case, yeah, let's get them deep. Okay, hold on there. Okay. You can really drive them in hard. Keep going again. Right in. Good and hard. Yeah, yeah okay. So it's often, it's, what happened was it stripped itself out there. Okay. She shall hold. Okay. There we go. And that is a feeding trough. Okay. So, Lee, you wrapped it up. What earth have you done here? Yeah, so I added a divider. Why? Well, you see the chickens, um, the other troughs, uh -huh. they don't have a divider. Right. And so when they're eating, they're going in walking into their food. Oh. And they're pooping into their food. Okay, gotcha. And we don't want that. I like it. So you put this in here. Yes. And that's going to prevent them. That's it. It's going to prevent them. And they can eat from here and eat from here. Yeah. And you really got the same amount of food. Yes. Boy. I'm sure you wouldn't like to stay for two months? <laughs> <laughs> With those ideas, I'm telling you, I need them. So now we okay. got this thing built. We are going to have to bring it into the chickens to see how they like their new feeder. Yeah. Hopefully they'll enjoy it. Of course, they may not appreciate the... Uh, divider, but that's okay. That's fine. Like that. We're gonna get some feed into this and then we'll bring it into the chickens. Let's see how they like it. Perfect. Okay. I 
how are these guys going to like this? Well, I think those chickens are pleasingly plump back there. I don't even think they're that hungry. <laughs> Let's go down here and check this out. Yeah, they're all happy fat campers back there. There we go. Okie dokes. Okay, Lee, I think we got this job finished. I think this is a wrap. Yeah. You did good. Really good. Thanks. So, on to the next project, I guess. Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. What is the next project? Oh. Uh, the fence. That's right. That's right. It's electrifying. Boogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs>